Sherman, long time no see. I see you. Good morning, everyone. Nice greeting. Yeah, good morning. So uh, going into for a really important discussion today, obviously on Burkina Faso. Um, I think it's the Secretary General who's called this an epidemic of coups, and we certainly um, subscribe to that view. We'd like to see a, a one voice uh, uh, result from this, that the Council would say something about the current situation that we condemn the coup, certainly Ireland does, that we want to see the release of all those who've been detained, and we want to see a return to constitutional order and civilian government. So they are the core issues that concern us. I'm delighted we'll hear from uh, SRS Giannadif. Uh, we have worked uh, very well with him. As you know, we work on uh, Onawasa with our African partners. So uh, we know he's been in the region. He's been in Burkina. Uh, just last week. So uh, we're also interested uh, clearly in what on, he has to say, but also the work that the AU is doing, that ECOWAS performing an extraordinary role in the region. So all of this goes to say an important moment in a very difficult set of circumstances. Ambassador, what might some of those divisions be in the council, right? You, you ask, you want to see the council speak with one voice, and yet there's a sense that it might not. What are the, some of the divisions, the likely divisions? sure that it might not. I think that we will have a discussion this morning. I mean, uh, there are obviously countries uh, following, like we are, closely developments uh, day by day, and uh, I'll be certainly guided by what we hear from the Special Representative of the Secretary General, but I think that there is a general concern uh, that the region, we've seen seriatim uh, coups happening, that this is a moment of instability generally, and that the Council needs to perform its role in terms of supporting countries in the region to restore their own uh, democracy and constitutional order. Uh, so given what the Secretary General has called an epidemic of coups, I understand that you wanted to coordinate with ECOWAS and with the AU, but shouldn't the Council have sent a very early, quick message on this? You've waited a long time to meet. Well, look, it has been a, a couple of weeks since the coup, but it's not like nothing was happening. I think that's the important thing. We speak all the time about the important role of regional organizations. In this case, ECOWAS has shown itself uh, in other situations and this to be very active on the ground. The special representative has been in the region talking to a series of actors. So there has been a lot going on behind the scenes. It's also a period when the AU summit is happening. We know the, the DEPSEC general is in the uh, on the continent, uh, not in that region, but uh, you know there, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. The important thing for me isn't the gap, it's that we now come uh, to the table and come up with a, a one voice clear message to the people of the region that we're supporting a uh, return to democracy. Are, are you going to speak only on Burkina or are you going also to speak on Mali, on, uh, on guinea bissau on, uh, on Guinea? Yes. These consultations are focused on Burkina Faso. Reality is it's against a backdrop of what I called earlier this epidemic of coups, but the focus today is clearly on Burkina Faso. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.